so it is Sunday morning and we are out of the house. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. We're on our way to, sorry this is so shaky, but we are driving and the road's set. Um, so we're on our way to Miller Farm, which is here in Southern Maryland. Uh, and we go here every year um, for pumpkins and they have a hayride, which Aiden is finally a little bit older, so he can go on that. And Andrew mostly, Andrew and I mostly go for their donuts. They have homemade donuts and they make their own ice cream. And then of course it's a farm, so they have fruit and vegetables and stuff like that. But um, it was something for us to get out of the house. And Aiden's older, so he can do a hayride. Since we're missing a lot of the festivities for October, but other than that, I think when we get home, we're gonna clean and do stuff like that. So I just wanted to check in and I'll see you at the farm. Bye. World's largest declare. Fresh Now we're in the animal barn. There's little piggies behind us. And look at the cow. Oh, I can't really see him. Say hi, cow. Say, what's cow say? Moo. And then there's a little pony who is not interested in talking to anybody. I'm gonna turn you around. We have Tic Tac and Toe. <laughs> oh. Did you want to feed some of them? They have the things. I do. Do you want to do it or no? No? The Dixie Chicks. Oh, oink, oinks. Hi. <laughs> oh, look at it. It's Kaya. <laughs> Oh, the cow farmer came. Aww. Hi. Hi. Nature Center, it's good for the kids. So, 
Take a journey down there one weekend if you don't have time today. If you look to this field behind you guys, that's our mums. We started playing those in the summer months. Uh, we did it about around July. Each mum flower plant is planted individually. Baby, Aiden, what do you think, Andrew? Huh? What do you think? I think it's nice. I didn't realize it was this big. What is that? <laughs> that is really cool. I am going to let you guys know they tend to sometimes fly up on this, so just make sure oh, you okay. don't get too close because it's startled by the kid. <laughs> she said not to let them get too close because they will fly up and hit it. Oh. It'll probably scare the bejesus out of them. Oh my gosh. And you can see they're like standing at that door. That's so they can come in and go out as they please. Oh. Um, into their little yard outside where it was fenced off. Oh, okay. So that's what it means when, like, free range, like, they can go and yeah. come as they please. Hey, Adam. Hi. Um, well, they have really long time now because most of them are really good about laying them in there, but sometimes they will lay them on the ground um, or in corners. Uh, so we do try and pick them up as quickly as possible. Uh, if they do break like that, then there's nothing really you can do about it. If there is one and they can't fuck at it, you try to eat it. Because, like, animals in the wild, when they give birth, that's what they do. So other animals can't smell it and come attack their baby. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is so cool. Do you guys only do tours in the fall, like, with the yeah. hay rides? Oh, okay. So we just got off the little tour. Our little tour guide was so cool. She's like a sixth, sorry, a sixth generation miller. Um, and she's actually going to school for, what is it called? Horticulture? Horticulture for farming. And she like 
can't imagine her life any other way. Like, it's just so cool to see her, like, passionate about it. And, like, this thing is 265 acres. It's huge. Andrew and I never realized, like, how far back it went and, like, everything that they grow and they don't have any animals except for a chicken coop and, like, four steers. The animals that you guys saw earlier, they borrowed from, like, another farming friend. If that makes sense. But uh, Aiden wasn't really excited about it, but he's happy now because he's playing on the tires. Say hi, Andrew. <laughs> so um, we got our donuts. <sighs> got to do the hayride. They do have a corn maze, but it's like, what did she say? Two to three fields big. It's huge. And so Aiden would not be okay with that. That's okay. So... Um, I think after this we're gonna get going, go enjoy our donuts and some coffee, and then we gotta get cleaning on the house. Gross. <laughs> they have a giant moo cow bounce house. Maiden gets it all to himself. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I would just check in with you guys, check me out in my garages. Probably a lot of you didn't know I wore glasses. Don't mind that bathroom door being open. Um, so Aiden's sleeping right now and Andrew went to the laundromat and is doing some laundry because I like to start fresh. I don't want dirty clothes in the car when we're leaving, even though I know it's going to happen. I have OCD. It's a thing. Um, sorry, it's so wobbly. I am using my phone right now just because I don't want to break out my camera. And this one, I feel like the quality is okay. Not as good as my Canon, but anyways, Andrew went to the laundromat. <laughs> so there are pubes everywhere. Andrew found pubes in the bathroom on the soap dispenser, the towel dispenser, inside the washer, and somewhere else. Really, really random. I don't know. So we're just doing last minute things. Um, I don't know that there's anything else that I can show you today that's exciting because I'm just cleaning, but we had such a great time at the pumpkin patch today. We really, really did. We didn't do the corn maze because it's, I think she said two, I think she said it was two acres big and we were like, no, it would be our luck that Aiden would go running through where he's not supposed to or something, you know what I mean? Or we get attacked by mosquitoes. We're having a really big issue with mosquitoes right now. Um, and then we're going to be in the car for the next four days. So we did not do that. But we still had a really, really great time. And the freaking animals were cute. And learning the history of the farm was really cool. Um, even though we've been going to this farm for years, we've never done the hayride. And it was totally worth it. I'm really glad we did. So um, what's going on back here? What is going on back here? What is going on back here? What? Where are you? There, I got you. There, I got you. So, it's so empty in this house. There's nothing but cleaning supplies and my Red Bull. Um, I have our suitcase. I'm trying to reorganize that, but I'm waiting for clean clothes. Um, everything is empty. Everything's gone. And the camera is like at the very tippy top, which with most phones, it is on the top, you know, right here. But I keep looking at myself, but it looks like I'm lo like looking way over there. And my foundation is disgusting. Ugh. Maybe I shouldn't get that close to the camera. <sighs> okay, I think I'm going to sign off. If anything else happens, I'll let you know. Otherwise, I'll just end it here. And we will commence. This will be the end of day one. I'm going to do it day one to... You know what I mean? This will probably be like leaving home. Um, and then day two will be Indiana. Well, 
I think we're going through West Virginia, Pennsylvania, Ohio, then Indiana. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and go. If anything happens, I'll let you know right now. Otherwise, goodbye.